The lo local market was on the slide today. It wasn't rates but China that weighed on investors. I spoke to Marcus Padley from Patterson Securities earlier. Well, Marcus Padley, not a good day on the markets today. We knew about China yesterday. So w what's going on? Did the RBA decision have any input? Uh, no, I don't think the RBA is really the driver today. Uh, you know, we could talk about Greece, which uh, uh, is still got to complete their bailout, and we're sort of waiting for Thursday night to see if private uh, bondholders have uh, slotted in behind them. Uh, but the real story today is still the China thing. BHP and Rio down 2.3%. And if you read uh, across the, the news wires on Asian markets, it's all to do with Chinese slowing growth and economists uh, talking down China, uh, and that's really pushed it today. Uh, now to stocks, and I see Crown has officially disclosed its 9% stake in Echo through a fiendishly complicated and controversial, although I understand perfectly legal, derivatives transaction. Uh, bottom line, though, is James Packer going to launch a full takeover bid? Well, he's, he, he's obviously keen, and unlike when Kerry Stokes uh, bought into WA News, uh, Echo uh, Entertainment are clearly not happy about it and are going to fight it, and they're popping out statements today uh, alluding to how much Crown owns and how no one can own more than 10% without breaching some licenses and this sort of thing. I think the point is uh, Packer is keen, um, and at some point, uh, if it's allowed, will... Uh, want to take over uh, Echo Entertainment. It was always rumoured from the time that they split off, uh, but I would say about the price is already at a 25% premium to the crown price on PE uh, and half the yield, so it's already discounting a bid. So for shareholders, all you need to know is you're now betting on a bid uh, and it's no longer really an investment. Now, we recently chatted about those corporate note issues and, and the supersized ANZ issue that might cause a bit of indigestion. I just wondered how we were going. Uh, yeah, the uh, post-ANZ uh, issues, I think, have struggled a little bit with indigestion. Uh, we had the AGL uh, NG issue going on at the moment where brokers are putting in bids for stock. And uh, the message from them is that they, you know, they pushed out the, the time limit a little bit. They said they aren't going to extend it. Uh, I think the message is there's a, a, a creeping indigestion in the notes market. And anything else stock specific caught your eye today? Uh, well, uh, in, in fact, it closed down, but uh, we were noting in the dealing room uh, that QBE was up whilst the rest of the market was down. We've spent uh, many years watching QBE going down when the rest of the market went up or when the market went down as well. Uh, but uh, a, a lot of people are hoping this is an inflection point. Franco Halloran leaving. Four major brokers have upgraded in the last week. Uh, it's got a decent yield, PE under 10. You know, maybe at last uh, uh, we're going to get this one right, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe. Marcus Padley, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, my pleasure, Tiki.